Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I said ladies and gentlemen. I hate saying ladies and gentlemen, but who cares? We're going to be continuing on our merry little adventure. Here, continuing from the ranch, we're going to be going even further beyond today. I guess is the best way to put it. And it's been a while since I've actually played this game. Obviously, we've had Snap and... Pokemon Unite appearing on here for a while. I don't have a cut Pokemon, do I? No. Oh well. Let's continue further beyond. Let's battle you, why not? It's free low. And she wants to say show how strong her family is. Well, I don't care how strong your family is, bruh. Amalia? You have a Surviper. What a snake. And yeah, this is going to be interesting because it's been a while since we've played Pokemon. And I, for one, have completely forgotten all our team and their moves. And I've kind of forgotten tight weaknesses. <laughs> so there's that. That's kind of bad to not remember. Considering this is a game that you need to know tight weaknesses. Oh boy. It's gotta be one of those episodes, isn't it? Anywho. Let's continue marching on. We're plowing on forward. Because that's all we can do. And yeah, if you don't know what today is, it's the 22nd of August? I think it's August. It's not September yet. Oh boy, I can't wait till September, but this month has flown by. <laughs> um, but no, it's 22nd of August. We are at a point where we're getting to through this game. And yesterday was the double Anarchy Analysis matchups of the week. They both happened on Saturday. I had to think there about dates. And yet, they were pretty good series. Going to be fun to break down. Rogue Mad One. If <laughs> spoiler alert, it was very one-sided. Mad absolutely decimated Rogue. So I'm gonna have fun just saying, here's how Mad won. Every single game. Yeah, there's nothing I can say other than that. Uh I'm losing this battle. I don't have a fighting move yet. But uh, yeah, that's going to be fun to break down. And then the five games last night as well between 100 Thieves and uh, TL is going to be even more fun to break down. Because they always provide banger series. I don't know, let's go into Quilladon. Yeah, but it's going to be fun to look at all five. And believe it or not, I actually missed the first two games of the uh, 100 Thieves and uh, Team Liquid series. I was busy. <laughs> I was not even in my house for once. I know, me not in my house recording. <gasps> That's shocking. Wow, I didn't know just got bopped immediately. Uh, I think we need to bring out some mayor mayonnaise. Hopefully the rollout doesn't kill. Because we know it's coming. I think everyone knows it's coming. I'm kind of hoping for a flinch or a burn. I went for Zen Headbutt. Oh, so the rollout had finished. I was kind of hoping that it would go for rollout again. Because then I can flinch it like that. I, I'm a psychic or something. Now we just need to burn it this turn. Can you burn it, please, uh... Or kill it, but that's fine. I'm happy with either. That's pretty good. And Mayor levels up as well, so pretty pog. Mill tank is always going to be a bitch Pokemon to kill, and Ayaka got a lot of XP. The rest of you got XP as well, so that'll be nice. And high amount of XP for all of them. But let's continue on on our merry little way, because we're getting to. The next town, which is one of my favorite towns, because I can get a new item. It's going to help us get a new team member. <gasps> a new team member? That would finish out all six Pokemon. You would be right. 
so let's continue on our journey as I say this guy's swarm of bug Pokemon is cool I really don't care but Aiden you have a yammer I think this might be a mayo battle if it weren't for the fact that I have aerial ace and he can't kill me yep easy good night Thank you, Ayaka. The rest of the team get XP, that's fine. Mothin, I'm sticking in. I'm throwing a gauntlet down. Mothin shouldn't be as quick as a Yammer, because Yammer is very quick, and it's quicker. I live. That's just... Très magnifique. Uh, I know it's going to kill me if I don't do this, so... Let's use a super potion onto Ayaka. That's a game I haven't played in a while. Genshin Impact. I, If you don't know where Ayaka's from, it's from there. It's the new Cryo Sword user. I got the 5 star, which is, which she is. I got her thanks to a friend helping me get enough Primo Gems. Because I've only just started properly playing the game. I've just got to the end of Liu. Which is nice. I, and I've got quite a few games I'm playing at the moment. Leagues 1 that I play as and when. Got people to play with. This Pokemon Snap I've been playing quite a bit. Unite. Quite a lot of Pokemon games. I've also been playing a game that I plan to let's play. Just so I get an understanding of the game. And no, I'm not revealing details on it. But it will be the series that follows this series and it's gonna be a long and and when I say a long and I mean these sessions I'm recording in is gonna be quite long <laughs> I will not reveal it because that ruins the fun of it but I'm enjoying the game thoroughly there's a lot of pointing a lot of shouting and a lot of horniness yes I did just say horniness and no, I'm not horny in it. You don't need to get the bonk cat bat out for me. And I'm not going to horny jail. The game needs you sometimes, but that's about it. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> let's continue on our merry little adventure. And we're battling quite a lot of these ranchers here today. Who are on our pathway of doom. And it makes a change actually the I'm wearing these headphones today. Instead of the nice little tiny ones that go into my ear that you can't see on recording. It's changed. I just felt uh, I need to put these big ones to get some immersive sound. Because I know where we're going. And Jim battles in this... Wow. I'm surprised he would draw a Pokemon into a Taurus. Oh, yikes. But it's nice to hear the immersive sound of gym battles in these headphones because you just hear the yes that's my attempt at impersonating it and we're actually going to lose this Ayaka is surviving yeah I'm going to have to quickly switch out to Maya because Maya can probably do work here And obviously we do have the Dragon Rage to do the cheap and easy 40 damage. Good thing I switched there because that would have killed me, probably, if I stayed in with Ayaka. Time for some Fire Fang fire burning on the dance floor. And also some flinching and burning and killing and murder. Who doesn't like murder? Arson, 07. Yeah, I'm starting to just say random words now as we leveled up to 32. This is getting good. And Zangus, Zangief, Zangus. This was one of my friend's favorite Pokemon. So, I think it's time we explain a story. If you are unaware, of my prediction videos whenever I get C9 versus TSM. What the flip happened to Maya? I was not even looking at the screen. But basically in the predictions, you see me in TSM versus C9 games say, 
It's the Wolves matchup. There's a reason behind it. So, I had a friend on Discord that was an admin alongside me as an admin on a Minecraft Pixelmon server. And we spoke quite a bit, as you do. We were good friends. And we both enjoyed watching the LCS. And I'm, I was at the time TSM fan. Now I'm a bit more impartial in terms of the LCS. And I cover every team and I give them a fair shake. Now, back then I was fully TSM. My mouse mat there's TSM. Uh, the shirt's on there for TSM, even though I now have a couple others. But the only, only LCS one is a TSM one up there. And yeah, oh, we're in my favorite city. A holoclip is received. We'll go through this and then I'll continue the story. He's got stuff on his face. Kill him. It's a video for you. I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. You better be ready. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Callum. But, um, yeah, this story is funny. So we always bat bet each other on the, uh, game. And what that entails is if TSM won... Sorry, if C9 won, I will change my Discord profile picture to a uh, C9 logo, and we bet each other to say something in our public, in the public Discord. If C9 won, I'd say C9 is the best team in the world, or something along those times, or they're my favorite team. It was degrading towards each other because we obviously. We're fans of each other's teams, and yeah, that was the fun of it. And this is what we want. So, we get this. But that was the, in essence, story. And during the time, TSM always seemed to win. And as such, that was kind of where I had fun. Because TSM always won, she would always have to change her profile picture, and I enjoyed that bit. And I do, we did screenshot each other saying it and use it in funny methods in that Discord. It was fun, I, but after a while, I don't know what happened. I well, I do know it wasn't the best of situations, I would say. And she, well got mad not at me but let's just say she quit discord altogether and then disappeared off the face of the earth and so we never had that bed anymore so I just always call it the walls bed in memoriam because of course I would now you may be wondering what am I doing well I'm off to go get our new team member and this is a lot of backtracking to do this so I'll see you guys there or do no I'm gonna keep it in screw it we're keeping it in we're gonna talk all the way there we're gonna provide some entertainment but yeah this was a very fun aspect of my channel and as such whenever it happened whenever TSM versus C9 happened I always called it out and when we were in when we used to speak a lot we used to watch the series together and it was fun it was probably one of my favorite times in league before obviously everything happened but it, yeah I did say we're backtracking quite far I literally mean it and I don't have strength do I if I have strength, I'm just gonna... I do. Oh, and uh, HM Slave can learn it. Lapras, you guard. So, yeah, this is, I think, the first time we're gonna use uh, strength in this game. And, in essence, these big old rocks now have holes that they can go into in comparison to the 
older games. So you just bring out the Lapras and these holes stay filled. Kind of a weird champ way to put it. But we can head all the way back if I remember the way. But yeah, we can go all the way back to where we need to go. Get ourselves a new team member. I hope I have actual Pokeballs to do this. That would kind of help, wouldn't it? Okay, we're almost at the entrance. There we go. And we're on Route 11. Yeah, I did say we've got quite a far way to go. We're almost there. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Almost to where we need to go. So, let's move on to another story. Um, let's go into League some more, as Halutra appears. Let's discuss the LEC and LCS finals. I know you're going to hear me rant about this in a upcoming predictions video, but let's just set the scene, because right now we don't know who the final teams will be going to Worlds from the LCS and LEC just yet. It's down to C9, TSM in LCS, and G2 and Fnatic in the LEC. They're two banger series, I should point out. So, what that entails is a lot of fun for us when it comes to predicting them, because they're going to be very hard series to predict. I mean, I've predicted 3-0 to G2, so that tells you everything, and that's actually happening quite soon. Like, literally half an hour from now, I didn't even realize that was the time. But yeah, that's kind of important to know, is how long until that series begins. Now, we're almost at where we need to be. In fact, we're here. Welcome to where we need to be, I do believe. If I'm wrong, you can, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you can do, but I'm going to register this rod and use it. We're going to go fishing. Luckily, we're right next to a town. Let's see, do we get a good fish? We do. We get our new team member, Clauncher. And yeah, Clauncher is going to be fun because it's a water type. We can actually replace out some of our team. And yeah, it might have flail. But we've got enough Pokeballs here to start flinging them. Originally, this was going to be a Dragolade or a Scrap. But Scrap is exclusive to Pokemon Y. This is Pokemon X, if you don't remember. So we had to trade it over to this game. There's an issue. I can't trade to this game. And Clauncher's deck entry is added. With our new team member. I forgot to name it. Well, next time, we'll see you back where we... Should be in the new town. I'll see you there. But maybe you'll see us with a new nickname on our team member. I'll see you guys then. Peace out. Okay, so on our merry little journey back. Uh, I don't know who's decided to evolve. I've also done something else, which you'll see after this. But yeah, let's see. What are we going to get as our final evolution of Quilladin? It's going to be something nice, I hope, he says. I'm really looking forward to this. Also, you're probably not hearing any sound right now. Oops. That, you don't need sound for this. I don't want to wantle in spiky shield. Yes, please. We'll get rid of... Weed seed. In essence, this is a protect that inflicts damage back onto opponents. C 
because they hit him. If it's physical, I should point out. Now, that adds some extra panache to our team. I'm also going to point this out. That I can show you here in this battle. As Ayaka comes out. We're not looking at Ayaka. We are in fact looking at a new team member, Liz. Finally given it a name and the Mega Launcher adds to the power of this uh, aquatic lizard. And it's definitely not sh it's definitely not short for Elizabeth, trust me, it's short for lizard. <laughs> I didn't name it. <laughs> but yeah. That's the end of this episode. I've added that this little tab bit in. We're almost back to where we need to be, because I did go to name raider along the way so i took a long journey so yeah if you enjoyed this i'm gonna do the outro again leave a like down below subscribe in your enter if you want to and back in kumarine city we'll see you guys next time peace out